Hey, what's going on everybody? This is the VG Pierce. I'll be coming at you with some Season 5 action from the Cabal Vision Champions Cup Playoffs. And we are going to check out the semi-finals match. And in the last semi-finals, we did see the Chaos Dwarf team taking out the Wood Elf team. Dirty as Dingoes and the Duckies more acceptable. Chaos Dwarves will be accepting their way to the finals. And who will they meet? Well, we're going to see today. And it will be between the Snurgo team. We'll pay for hugs. Lucky Luck Luke's taking on VGP's Batman Dark Elf team of Jimmy. Fantastic. I see on their paths, we'll pay for hugs to take out the Bretonian team. And then also a human team. So a slightly easier schedule. But nonetheless, he did have to take out a very difficult human team. And also a Bretonian team nonetheless. VHP is Batman though, Dark Elf team to take out Babash! And then and after that, or before that, the High Elf team. So here, he's gonna face a good challenge today, the Nurgle team. Lots of guys there with, oh gosh, foul appearance. Even disturbing presence that will disrupt passes and catches and all that good stuff. And so I am not sure who's gonna win today. I, everything in my body tells me that the Nurgle team is probably gonna win, but because VGP is the Batman, I have to go for that man there. So yes, Dark Elf team, I'm rooting for you today. Come on, come on, Jimmy. Don't prove me wrong, baby. Oh man, in my preliminary predictions, yes, we, I did say the Dark Elf team. I like his style. Sometimes you just have to lay it all out on the line and take the big W. That is sometimes the only way that you can play this game. But first, Lucky Luck Luke's will pay for hugs to the Nurgle team. And he will be facing off against the Dark Elf team. Jimmy Fantastic VGP is Batman. Yes. What do you want from me? And uh, no star player, it appears. Lots of team value difference. And so, I'm not exactly sure what he took then. I'm not exactly sure at all. So, I believe he definitely will take a wizard for today's match. And it looks like he's going to take a bribe. The Nurgle team did have a couple of extra guys from the bench, so perhaps the Nurgle team actually did jettison one or two rotters, and I believe he did, and so therefore he is going to have a little bit less TV that the that the Dark Elf team can actually play with. So boy, um, I wish that I would see some Eldril Sidewinder. That would be awesome, and that would actually help out in Jimmy Fantastic's game plan, and it really helps in getting that hypnotic gaze opening up the way and then still having the blitz off so that you can get a little bit more aggressive and he's gonna have to if he's gonna have any real success against this Nurgle team this Nurgle team is ready for the Stark Elf team I mean not only does he have mighty blow he's got a couple guys there with claw but disturbing presence a big thing here that you have to worry about right there and it is going to be a minus one to catch and passes. So, I mean, it's 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 going to be difficult. I'll tell you that much right there. Disturbing presence. Patch, pass, catch, or even intercepts. But, I mean, hell, intercepts are not a big deal. I'll tell you that much. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at both of these guys' skills and everything before we get started for today's match. Dark Elf team will have a couple of loners for today's match. I guess that's not a big deal when you're playing an Elven team or any Elven team or Agility teams for that matter. You're going to have to get used to playing with a couple of loners and there they are. They will be on the front line. Not a big deal. I guess it becomes a really big deal when you have f four or more loners. That's when it's a big deal. But having two guys up on the front line, not too shabby of a deal, especially if they get injured. But that does mean nobody can come in if there are going to be any extensive injuries on any of these Dark Elf team. Yes, he will have a couple of Witch Elves there and a couple of Ball Hawks as well. Plus one in Strength Tackle with the Wrestle. Frenzy for those Witch Elves. That is their staple here. And then the Diving Tackle, Kick Tackle. And then Sidestep with the block for this Witch Elf. And so both of these Witch Elves nicely leveled up. But we talk about Offensive Prowess. You need to talk about plus two in Move Announce with that Sprint. Dodge and the sidestep for this 
Dark Elf Blitzer and that's really nice as I said in the last match it's really good when you can have a Dark Elf team with a huge offensive threat like that so that if you fall behind or if you just need to make something really quick then boom there you go right there offensive threat because that's normally not the thing that the Dark Elf team likes to do they like to just kind of grind it out as it were and then run it down the pitch and make their touchdown plus one in agility and Honestly, anytime you can take plus one in agility for any four agility teams, you take it because why? You can ignore one tackle zone for the dodges, you can make longer passes, you can do all kinds of stuff. And with that sure hands and dodge, it's just what are you going to do? And hell, even pouring rain, not a big deal. Referee rest area for both sides will mean a bribe for both sides as well. And that will be really nice for the Nurgle team to really take advantage. And no dirty player here or anything like that. And that will be it. So just going to be, what, four key players here, basically, for the Star Calf team. And the Nurgle team just needs to watch out for those four. And that might not be enough because this Nurgle team, look how nicely leveled up they are. Except for this Nurgle warrior right there. But Mighty Blow guard block for that Nurgle warrior. Tackle, piling on Claw, Mighty Blow, and block for this one here. Beast of Nurgle would stand firm. And... A rotter that has that extra arms tackle claw with the plus one in strength with the block pretty much a foe Nurgle warrior himself and then a Pestigore with the tackle and the frenzy ability and then dirty player with the wrestle ability for that rotter and a Pestigore here mighty blow and tackle and then more dirty player and then extra arms with the extra head and then the foul appearance, or two heads there, and then the sure hands, and then the block ability for that pest go there. So I tell you what, ball handling, got it. Lots of kill guys there. You got it there. And it's just, what are you going to do? And hell, he's even got extra arms for that right there because, hell, why not? Let's just pick it up for him because then he could be also an offensive prowess himself and get extra on the catch extra on intercept rolls and even on the pickup so he himself is dangerous you can't forget about that rider in the backfield and that's kind of what i'm talking about so hopefully the blizzard will be useful dark elf team will be kicking it off perfect defense and that's going to be great for jimmy will be able to put his guys away from some of the kill guys on the front line probably just going to stick in front of this beast nurgle the lesser of the two evils there and well, actually, they're all going to have Mighty Blow, so it doesn't matter where you put them, Jimmy. Oh, no. Oh, God. Scum, how you doing today? Jimmy's dulcet tones save him from disturbing presence. I don't know. I hope so. Because he's going to need it. He's definitely going to need it. And look at that. Tentacles for this Nurgle Warrior. I almost missed it there, but, man, that right there, my friends, is... Very difficult to deal with, I'll tell you that much. You already have to deal with one beast of the Nurgle with the tentacles. Now you gotta deal with a Nurgle warrior with that tentacles ability. So he is ready. Ready to rock. Wow. Look at that. Anyway, so Nurgle team though, he's gonna have the offense and Dark Elf team did opt to choose it. So we may see some fireworks here in this first half and quite possibly the Nurgle warriors need to make sure that they get down some of these dark elves and hell even the foe <laughs> even the foe Nurgle warrior there with the plus one is strength to tackle he also needs to get his hits going as well he also has claws so don't forget about that so make these guys armor value seven here comes the big hit with the claw and the mighty blow we'll get the defender down die we'll get take down the lineman and no big hits and he will follow up with the on Ooh. He's going to put himself a little bit out there. Don't forget, both teams does have a bribe. So Dark Elves may take advantage and get the boot in and use the bribe there straight away. But so far, anybody that has one bribe has had to blow two bribes just to get things going. In this tournament, it has really been favoring strength and bash teams because there has been loads of injuries the other semi-finals notwithstanding here comes a big foul coming up it's gonna be on the loner player that's right guys and uh, you might say why a loner player 
because even if he takes one Dark Elf out, then booyah, that should be enough. Fireball is going to be used straight away. Lots of Dark Elves going to be there to try to take advantage. And yes, only one of them is going to fall down and no injuries or anything. So pretty much a failed Fireball. It does give a small opening here for the Witch Elf to blitz through. That's all that Jimmy really wants to do here. There is a guard right there. And so the plus one in strength will have to con be content with making a one die block coming up. Not actually... It might be a two die block if he's not too careful. Two red die blocks, I think, is. Yeah, I think so, because this is a plus one in strength, but I guess the fireball already used. You have to pretty much do it. Yes, he does get a skull and a both down die. There we go, both down die. That's gonna be good enough. Wrestle here, and the ball's gonna come out scattered in a great spot here for the Stark L team. He's got the plus two in movement allowance. That's all he needs. For him to pick this ball up, he's going to grab the ball and he's going to get along here to this right side and uh, try to stay far, far away from any help there. And the fireball did produce just enough there, just enough. But will it be? Miracle Team needs to keep his composure here, get the blitz off, and then hopefully be able to get that ball back. This is kind of why I like runners right there because had this been a runner or something like that, then dump off ability might be very useful in this situation right here where a blitz should be coming and then at least you still have the ball and he won't have a, a really good shot at maybe getting to there. Ooh, look at that blitz there. He won't be able to get through and this Dark Elf could be threatening the score right there and this is great for Jimmy. He has the rock. Ooh, death injury there. Don't worry, baby. Your death won't be going in vain. We should see this touchdown coming straight up. Witch Elf just needs to make a quick little dodgy poo. And then after that, this Dark Elf plus two in movement allows. Well, he's in range for this touchdown all by his lonesome. Doesn't even need the little Switch Elf to get down there, but might as well make the throw, right? Make it a little bit easier. Less dice to roll. Oh, yes. Live and die by the one. <laughs> You're right about that, scum. And that's totally what he's been doing this whole tournament. And Honestly, that's kind of what you need to do against a opponent that is just way bigger in team value and also so solid, such as the... Oh, look at that. He's actually just going to move up and play a little bit solid. He's not going to go for this touchdown. He had this touchdown if he wanted to do three go for it rolls, but it looks like he wants to play it solid, just wants to keep the ball in his hand and make it to where it'll be a few more turns less for the Nurgle team to make his return touchdown. Oh, yes. I like this play. It is ballsy. I'll tell you that much. How many of us would have actually made that touchdown? I think I would have done it. But I like this play as well. Just wants to put up a big old screen right there. And he's going to do a movement here. He's going to jump up, try to get that hit off, to try to open up the way. But unfortunately, no go there. And the tentacles does hold strong and that's what I'm talking about guys tentacles holding back the dodge away by the witch elf and she's gonna get pummeled well actually gonna get pushed right there but gonna get pummeled pretty soon I think best score will get the blitz through we'll try to take down the plus one in agility man definitely got to reroll that one defender down die that's gonna be good actually defender stumbles and ooh, we'll get a armor value break gonna be KOing though that's gonna be not too bad Loner served his purpose. You're right about that. That's what the that's what the loners are for, and that's what I'm talking about there, baby. That's why you shouldn't be afraid when you're an elven team to get loners because you stick them in the front line and then they do their job. They are there to get punched. And despite the Dark Elves being down one player, that's not a big deal whatsoever. Down two players, that that isn't such a big deal either. But then once you start getting down two, three players, and then four players that's when it starts getting a little bit iffy which of is going to be able to survive yet another day and we should see this touchdown pretty soon but perhaps the dark elves may actually think about holding it but i don't know if he wants to Miracle warrior with the tentacles is nearby and so if he blitzes in and somehow tangles up the ball carrier that might be too much i do believe the dark elf should score it at this point he did hold it for another turn, so 
Now, if he does get the two ball back, the Nurgle team, then he will have five turns to score it. We'll see if he wants to score it right there. Might actually do a blitz here, but we'll see. Looks like, yes, he will do it. After moving in, thought about it for a second to stay in bounds, but I think, I think, yes, yeah, somebody must have talked some sense into Jimmy and was like, you know what? Let's get the touchdown. Let's get up uh, one to nothing. The damage has already been done. You scored there in the possession half of the Nurgle team, and now you have the slight favor to win the match 2 to 1 by the end of the game. We'll see. Batman versus Hentai. <laughs> you know, it would be even better if, if we see a bunch of Nurgles and they're facing off against a anime themed team. That'd be funny. <laughs> that would be funny right there. All right, so Dark Elf team draws first blood, does get that ball out, and also gets the touchdown. So Fireball almost a waste, but did just enough, just enough. Two red die block went true for Jimmy. Good chance to actually get that ball out and does get it, and the ball bounced in a really great spot. The scatter couldn't have bounced in a better spot for him. Had the scatter went the other way, then it would be slightly different. I'll tell you that much. But nonetheless, the ball does scatter in a great spot, and the Dark Elves was able to take advantage. So, Fireball not spent in vain. A good Fireball, finally in this tournament, did just enough to actually get the ball out. And the Dark Elves does score it. Now it is going to be a Bloodweiser Babe on, on there. So there's a Bloodweiser Babe and a Wizard. So he was 200k at least in team value down so that's pretty good stuff boy too bad too bad the rider was taken out by the Nurgle team because that would have been great Elder Sidewinder would have made his his debut on the pitch but unfortunately no Elder today would have been nice to get a hypnotic gaze and that's all that's really all the Dark Elf team needs at this point is just Elder Sidewinder to continue to open up holes I guess it's another team, and then the Dark Elves should be able to just to, to just take advantage every single way. Get the ref, and that totally helps out the Nurgle team. Boy, get the ref has been here for both of the semifinal matches, and that really helps out the Nurgle team a lot because you get to keep these bribes. Now like it goes away. Dark Elves will be able to keep his as well, but ooh, big entry there, and there you go. The other loner player does his job. And that's it, boy. Both of the fodder Dark Elves are out for the rest of the match and pretty much straight away. Four turns and now here comes another KO. That's okay. Like I said before, when playing the Elves, I know from personal experience, I'll take KOs, especially when I have a babe in hand. So that's not a big deal at all, but that does mean that the Nurgle team does have a huge numbers and strength advantage on the pitch. 11 on 8 at the moment, and so the Dark Elves will have to make do with the small numbers disadvantage. I don't know if the Dark Elf team will be able to stop this touchdown incoming. <laughs> Enemy gone wrong design for the Spanish. Yeah. Oh gosh. Here comes the piling on after the Mighty Ball Blow will follow up after a stun. We'll get the KO. And that's tremendous. Again, the Nurgle Warrior with the piling on. Not afraid. Beast of the Nurgle is going to be stepping through. Going to make his presence known right there every single time. Going to stick that big guy straight up in their faces. And that's going to be really great. All right. A foul is going to be called. It's just going to be a stun. And that's going to be great for the Dark Elf team. But another bribe here for the Nurgle team. Unfortunately, for the... Nurgle team will make the Dark Elves' lives a little bit more difficult still to come. But that's alright. Only a stun up on the front line. We'll take that any day. It's going to be on the no-skilled lineman at least. So not too much of a worry. Dark Elves will continue to play aggressive. I can't blame him here. He's going to go and touch up some Beast of the Nurgles there with the... Well, not Beast of the Nurgle. The, the Nurgle Warrior. Ooh, he's going to fail the go for it, bro. But that's okay. At least... It wasn't the fail on the disturbing presence or foul appearance, actually. And then the hit. Ooh, we're going to fail to go for it. Well, yet again, she's going to get smacked down for it. 
That's going to be unfortunate and won't be able to take down the Nurgle Warrior. And uh oh, now this guy here is like, why did you take him down? Oh, he's going to get the skulls there. So reroll. And that will be the last reroll for the Nurgle team. That is tremendous. And now any Nuffling here and the Nurgle team may face another turnover. And the Dark Elves may be able to take advantage right here. <laughs> I think it's not over until any elf dies, not just witch elves, Skirm, I tell you. And there we go, Nurgle team, he's gonna go just box up best he can. Still gonna be placing his guys in such a way that any wizards or anything like that will be not a factor. But at this point, even if he does a four point cage, then I don't think there's anything to really worry about. So gonna be overcompensating here with this cage but nonetheless I like I like that solid play right here dark elves are a huge menace here comes the blitz there and no armor value breaks just gonna be more pushes there at the front line and more pushes on the back line as well so these dark elves playing quite aggressive just needs to put up a screen in front here and wow appearance and uh, we'll be dodging away from the tentacles there after the failed blitz. And uh, here he's going to get that dodge miss. And uh, that will be it from right here on the back right side. Won't be using the last reroll for the Dark Elf team. But that again will mean that these backline Dark Elves are going to get smashed. I don't know. I kind of like, like using the reroll there. But... I mean, it's a, it's a judgment call at this point, but two Dark Elves are going to pay for it with the hit, and then actually a fourth Dark Elf. So these three are going to get hit, and then probably the Witch Elf is going to get blitzed. So we're going to see that incoming, and then we're going to see a bribe. So four, four hits, and then a foul. That's going to be a five, total of five hits. I, I kind of don't like that, but... At the same time, what are these guys going to do? Try to dodge away when there's a beast in an angle right there. It's not going to be a good chance to dodge out anyways. But still, these are the kind of things you got to consider. These are the kind of things you got to weigh when you don't re-roll things like that. Will my guys get hurt? Will my guys get hit? And I think and I think right there, it, it would have been okay to get, the, to get these guys out of there and try to dodge away and at least save themselves from getting hit and there we go ko again and that's going to be okay for jimmy again three plus for any of those guys and they're back bloodweiser babe should be saving them and there's that there's that hit right there and uh, won't be getting too much more out of it and looks like they don't want to risk too much there and so it's going to let these hits go hmm, look at that no hits on these guys Hey, check that out. Let's, let's go back real quick here. Yes. Beast of Nurgle could have actually did something, right? Uh, yeah, the Beast of Nurgle could have hit here. But uh, I guess I guess not a big deal. Wants to keep wants to keep the Beast of Nurgle on them and doesn't want to hit with the Beast of Nurgle. Ooh, does dodge away finally. T tentacles. We don't care about tentacles here, guys. Isn't that right, Scum? And there we go. Plus two movement allowance. He's just going to move here on the right side and still be in range for any shenanigans that could happen for the Dark Elf team. Which Elf's going to try to dodge away more ones on there. And there you go. More three rolls again. And that's going to be okay. This time, nobody's going to be in base to base with any of the Nurgle team. And so that's going to be an okay move right there. Plague of Ones on the House of Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> More Ones there, but so far the Ones... I mean, honestly, I think the Nurgle team was going to make this touchdown anyways. And so the defense was just there just to be sure that the Nurgle team spends his entire turns trying to make this touchdown. And uh, with the Dark Elf team, with the plus two of Moon Lounge with the Sprint guy on this pitch... As long as the Dark Elves stay upright, he might actually be able to make a one-move touchdown at the end of the first half here. So, don't forget about that. Dark Elves could score it yet again here. So, the Dark Elves, I think overall, needs to worry about their body. Don't want to get any injuries going here. And again, 
Tentacles, Beast of the Nurgle, ties up two Dark Elves. Every chance he can flip and get, and he doesn't even make the block with the Beast of Nurgle because he doesn't want to get Nuffled and then face a both down die, and then he falls down. He just wants to keep that pressure up with the Tentacles, and I'll tell you what, that is tremendous. <laughs> Yeah, and also the and also the really stupid with the tentacles. And there you go, big foul there. And again, that's gonna be okay. More hits there, and gonna fail with the dodge. One on that roll, but gonna fail it once again. And gonna be holding on strong. And you know what though? Using the re-roll, not using the re-roll there is okay too. Because now that I say the one move touchdown, I kind of remember that he does have a chance of doing it. So. Keeping this one reroll for the one move touchdown is a pretty good idea, actually. So that's that's gonna be a great thing that the Dark Elf team can attempt to do here at the end of the half. Beast of Nurgle though is gonna be in the front line as well as a couple of Nurgle warriors. In fact, we're probably gonna see the guard guys up front. I don't think we're gonna see the Nurgle team give away too much to the Dark Elf team, but nonetheless, all he needs is a push, right? to get his guys free. KO guys are going to be pretty much all coming back. Boy, a couple of ones and twos there on the KO and a couple of guys are going to continue to stay out. But at least this is still just the first half. Halftime is still coming up. So not a big deal. Yeah. And I really like that play with the Beast of the Nurgle, right? I mean, really st just avoiding any really stupids or Avoiding any of the both down and skulls. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a small chance, but nonetheless, he keeps the pressure up instead of using the blocks, right? I mean, again, I mean, how many of us would put, would just go and make a block with the Beast of Nurgle, right? I mean, he's got, he's got five strength. He's got mighty blow. Yo, and hit with him, right? But I, I definitely, that's a good choice. I like that. Now, maybe a riot might actually happen here, but no riot, so cheery fans will pay for hugs, we'll get an additional reroll, but that's not going to be of any use. So, we may see a one move touchdown try. I don't think the way that the Nurgle team has lined up, it makes it pretty darn difficult to get there, I think. And uh, it's going to fail the dodge. Actually, it had a chance here. Could have, could have actually put a, put the hole right there. After you, you make the blitz here on the right side, you know, push him into the hole right there, and then you hit him left. And uh, he actually could have had a shot there, but Jimmy Fantastic, though, says forget it. One to one, I have the advantage. I will take this. I know how to play solid, methodical, blood bowl football. So don't you worry, VGP. I'm going to take your guys into the promised land. So here we go. Jimmy Fantastic. Take my VGP's Batman into the promised land. I did say that you were going to win it. And he does have the favor. So I like it right there. I like it a lot. And the Dark Elves. He's going to continue to have one guy out. One guy comes back. He's going to fail this one, though. And it's actually going to be the Blodge Blitzer, in fact, and that's going to be too bad. But nonetheless, Dark Elves, he still has, what, eight guys on the pitch? So, that'll be okay. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to feel a little bit difficult, though. The Nurgle team should be pushing back on the Dark Elves, and so, I don't know if the Dark Elves will be able to hold the ball for as long as you think. <laughs> All right, Brown Master. I am Batman. How's that? <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, calm, methodical, dulcet tones of Blood Bowl. You got that right. And here we go. Change of weather. And that's going to not help anybody there. And the Dark Elves, what he really wants here is another guy. Honestly, if he had perhaps even just nine guys on the pitch, or even or even more, really. But, I mean, if he had nine guys on the pitch, I would say that this would just be the usual grind them out, 
Blood Bowl that we should be used to seeing from Jimmy and that's all he really needs to do at this point to win the game. <laughs> and this is and this is the, and this is really the strength of Jimmy right here. All he needs to do is play patient, play slow, play methodical, and the difference here and normally I think you see Jimmy playing more of a bashy team such as the Chaos, something like that. Well, the Chaos have what usually Agility 3, but these Dark Owls Agility 4. And so, if he runs up against the wall of the Nurgle team and somehow, some way, he needs to make something in a hurry, well, Dark Elves are perfectly suited for that. Agility 4, and hell, even Agility 5 for the main ball carrier. So, not a big deal. The big hit is going to be a stun, and time uh, on is going to be the follow. We'll be able to follow with the KO. We might see an Apothecary here. And uh, no Apatho usage, so he's going to let that one fly. I can't believe I'm there. But at this point, numbers advantage here is going more and more the way of the Nurgle team. And uh, now with one extra guy out, then the Dark Elves are going to be slowly constricted and squeezed out from the positioning here. Lucky Luck Luke has proved that. He could definitely play some positional Blood Bowl. And again, Tentacles here. Gonna use them and gonna slow up Jimmy's Witch Elves. And gonna do just a couple of go for rolls. Yes, he's gonna get there. Ooh, just gets in range and gonna tie up the guy standing there. Yes, he's gonna be able to dodge away. The nice thing is that even if you fail Tentacles, then you just stand there, right? But, I mean... I don't know. Dark Elves needs to do something here. Probably might just go and... Uh, Oh, tries to get the blitz up, but Foul Appearance saves the blitz, and that's the that's the great thing about Foul Appearance for the Nurgle team. It really puts a hamper down on the plans because you almost kind of expect the blitz to go through, and then you formulate your plans to try to to try to break through on the right side. But with that Foul Appearance, and uh, now the Nurgle team. He's able to continue to push that push back there, and since the Dark Elves had to put somebody there for an assist for the Blitz, now the Witch Elf, she's gonna just be face to face there, as well as yet another Witch Elf who had gotten tangled up by the Tentacles. There's one hit there, it's not gonna be a mighty blow hit, and at least though, but uh, at this one here might be, well actually it won't be because this is gonna be a non-mighty blow hit. And actually, they're all non-mighty blow hits, so that's going to be great for Dark Elves, but they're still on value 7. Not going to get any big injuries here. Here comes another hit on this left side, and we should see a foul. I mean, heck, anybody to foul. And uh, just going to be a push on there. No tackle on that Tentacles Beast of the Nurgle, or Nurgle Warrior there, I mean. Oh, gosh. The Dark Elves really breathes a big sigh of relief, and... The Nurgle team didn't really get too much out of that. Look at the foul though, at least on one of the personnel there. And big injury here. We're going to definitely see the Apothecary used here now. And uh, there we go. He's going to join the substitute. Bribe is... Foul is going to be called. Bribe is going to be used. And that will be it for the Nurgle team. I don't think the Nurgle team will stop fouling though. He does still have a rider there on the sideline. So with... As long as he still has a couple of dirty players, he's definitely going to use it, especially being up in the numbers as well. So we're still going to probably see more fouls being committed. And the Dark Elves really needs to make something happen now. Going to have to go along the right side. Going to have to give the handoff afterwards. But I don't know how well he can keep this up. Going to get the handoff here, and he needs to close up the side cage, if possible. Loads of dodges, and she's going to make it there. Does fail one of the dodges there, but after that, got everything else. Here comes more dodges. Three plus. Oh, gosh. And gets on through. And they will just be able to formulate the side. Yes, he just will be able to. And uh, he's going to fail that dodge, going to use the reroll, yes, he's going to make sure, double make sure that this is going to be okay. Front is going to be alright, and it's going to still continue to tie up the pest gore over the top, and this is going to be quite uncomfortable. Dark Elves are one move away from making his own touchdown. Nurgle team still can make his own touchdown here at the end of the half, but Dark Elves needs to survive, and... 
with these tentacles out of the way both of these guys are a little bit out of range here so not going to be able to put the beast of nurgle or this nurgle warrior with tentacles on the ball carry and that's going to be too bad so we'll get the blitz off more defender down die look at that and that's going to be the guy without tackle even and we'll get the big hit we'll get the ko and that's the plus one in agility man there and so with that big hit we are probably going to see this dark elf team make the touchdown pretty soon he's probably gonna stick his guy up there maybe get a screen up if he's if he can if possible piece of nurgle nurgle warrior i mean it's gonna get up he will get the tentacles up there after two go float rolls just when i said that he was a little bit out of range the tentacles is gonna totally be in range never underestimate me <laughs> and uh, there we go gets the tentacles all up in the face there oh uh oh at least he doesn't have stand firm yet so might be able to get a blitz off here against them and uh, should be able to get him out of there this guy without the guard ability so just needs to get one assist here maybe two heads gonna dodge on through go for a roll fail probably gonna be re-rolling that because he wants to get a pest score up in front but ooh, gets back to back ones here and the dark elves whoo that is tremendous definitely needed that one dark elves he's gonna go try to dodge out tentacles hold no dodge out it's gonna fail the three plus dodge and we'll get one and nine there and unfortunately it's not gonna be making it through oh no oh no oh man and this is a four strength beast of or not beast of four straight noble warrior so even with the assist would not have enough to actually get the blitz off and so had to make the three plus dodge right there and did get away from tentacles but unfortunately got one and nine there and the ball is completely vulnerable and the dark elves and uh, is gonna be it's gonna be very difficult now dark elves just no nobody here that can really do too much damage the plus one agility man is out all you can hope for is to fail the pickup but at this point with extra arms only gonna be a back-to-back -back ones on that sure hands pickup with the extra arms oh and this my friends i think is almost gg dark elves now gonna have to do loads of cage dives here to try to stop it and how many times have we seen this before how many times oh gosh he got one and nine there and i think that the dark elves if he didn't get one and nine there i i believe he probably would have tried to hold the ball at least one more turn i don't think he would have tried to score it there but even if he did score it i wouldn't blame him and there goes the cage dive but unfortunately more back-to-back -back ones and injury here to boot on that failed dodge and that's it the referee is wearing golden pantaloons oh no yeah cage dives and this is all that it's come down to unfortunately for the dark elf team he's gonna have to continue throwing bodies into the wind here he's just gonna have to just just you know charge forth into the brick wall that is the cage of the nurgle team and guys with guard guys with loads of strength and it's just just too much i think i've i've seen this so many times for myself and it's only a hope and a prayer that you can have when this starts to happen for you another big hit look at the armor value break and heck that spares him from making any cage dives we are probably going to see this this blitzer attempt the cage dive and as long as he's still able to have some sort of follow-up then he's gonna do it but again the nurgle team is gonna just absolutely take everything away from him in fact he's just gonna get another guy there to make this an even difficult cage dive here we go just 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 get it all out yeah just there we go and, and get the foul in there why not and get loads of assists we'll get the injury and that's it so the nurgle team takes out pretty much the last breath here dark elves still has a hope and a shot by this guy there to make some sort of move and uh, yes even jimmy knows he's not even gonna use the last reroll there and that's even the easier of the rolls too that's not even the six plus dies jumping in there <laughs> oh no 
That's it. We're gonna see the last few turns. So thanks for joining me so much. Semi-finals match. And the winner should be Lucky Luck Luke, barring some sort of, I don't know, disconnect. <laughs> some sort of some sort of misclick. I don't know. Maybe the Nurgle team accidentally hits in turn at the end and then <laughs> life springs forth. What do you think about that, guys? Ugh. Dark Elves has... They nearly pulled it off. They had a shot there at the end, but unfortunately got one and nine on that dodge. And uh, that's all it takes, really. So far in this tournament, Jimmy has been playing by the seat of his pants and doing well. And unfortunately, finally, the wooden nines have caught up to him. And that's it. Had he gotten it, then this would be a different story. Should have been able to hold it for yet another turn. And then after that, scored at turn 14. And then gave the Nurgle team at least, what, three more turns to score? Maybe four more turns? And even though it would, they still would have been capable of doing it, at least the Dark Elf team just needed to play some defense and then just put the nail in the coffin that way, but just not enough. Not enough from the tank. <laughs> and the VGP is Batman. Well, I may be Batman, guys, but unfortunately, the memo needs to come out to these guys down here. You just need to play Solid Blood Bowl. Back. <laughs> hey, well, you know, I appreciate this. You know, I, 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 you know, you made it when somebody like Jimmy Fantastic made the team right after you, right? <laughs> That's awesome. And with that, two to one, awkward armadillo makes the touchdown, two to one. And that's it. Jimmy Fantastic runs ends, but hey, that's all right. He'll be 100 euros richer. And uh, Lucky Luck Luke will pay play for the finals at least 250 euros. First place will get 500 euros, courtesy of Cyanide and Focus Home Entertainment, guys. And as you see there, it was all the non-blockage by the Dark Elves. And disturbing presence, or I mean, uh, foul appearance. I keep saying disturbing presence, but foul appearance really saved the Nurgle team there, I I think, what, two or three times? Like, it was a bunch of times that the foul appearance actually came up for the Nurgle team, and it, it really puts a hamper on things when a lot of that kind of happens. It, I mean, I know it from personal experience, right? I mean, you, 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 hit, you try to hit down the Nurgle warrior, foul appearance shows up, and it's just like, oh, now you blitzed, and you you have to have assist on a four strength guy so now you're basing the other team and that's not what you want to do 40 blocks eight ko's two injuries honestly the eight the ko's really help help the nurgle team from making their touchdown in the end of the first half but the biggest number here only two blocks and with that guys let's go ahead and check out the brackets as you can see here, we'll pay for hugs. Lucky Luck Luke does take one, and my vote and my prediction was incorrect. But that's really because I just absolutely was. That was just a biased call, guys. But still, <laughs> he nearly, nearly had it right there. But I think everybody agrees here. Chaos Dwarf versus the Nurgle team. Ducky versus Lucky Luck Luke. Two of the finest coaches in land are gonna meet and it's gonna be bash on bash and again in this tournament it has just been an absolute slugfest blood all over the pitches on uh, lots of the agility teams and unlike last season in which you saw Skaven versus a wood up team this time it's chaos dwarf versus Nurgle team we'll see who'll get the better of it oh boy I don't know Nurgle team does have claw and uh, Chaos Dwarf, I think, not enough on the claw himself. But Rotters are suspect. So we'll see. Let's just take a quick look at both the teams. We're going to confirm this roundup so that they can have the 
they can they can schedule their games anytime they like here. Again, guys, I am a admin for the Cabal Vision and Champions Cup. You guys out there that report, guys, please keep reporting. Keep reporting those bastards. I take care of them. Look at that. As you see, the Rotters. Oh, man. We're probably going to see maybe block on that guy. Uh, or maybe even a firing. I don't know. Might fire this guy, Dr. Killjoy. And then the Nurgle Warrior, he's got his level up, so we're most likely going to see Claw on that guy. <laughs> he's he's hiding the level up, but I think I think if he doesn't take Claw, then I would be I would just be absolutely amazed, absolutely. So he will have this guy there, Mighty Blow and Claw. I mean, it's just wow, just so much, just so much that you have to think about, and then. What is it? The more acceptable Chaos Dwarves. What does he got here? Let's see. He's got a level up as well. It's going to be a Chaos Dwarf blocker. Oh, he's down to Chaos Dwarves. So I think this is an easy call here. The Nurgle team should be able to win it despite it being ducky. I'll tell you that much. Quite possibly, again, one of the more technically sound coaches. But lucky luck, Luke. He's also quite good as well. So... Being down the Chaos Dwarf blocker, maybe not too bad, but then two Chaos Dwarf blockers, I think right there is just too much. And let's just take a quick look at the team value. So we should at least see a wizard for the Chaos Dwarves after the level up, I think. Check out the... Oh, and actually, Nurgle team saved up enough for his own wizard as well, so that's going to be too bad. Chaos Dwarves does have 120k. So we're definitely going to see a wizard on both sides, actually. So we're going to see some fun at the finals. But yes, Nurgle team should be able to get the better of it. And with that, guys, thanks again for joining me for my cast. Semi-finals is over. Finals is on its way. Scum, good seeing you, Brownmaster. Or Brownmeister, I should say. Thanks for coming by. Unfortunately, no more... Batman voices for me. <laughs> Unless we see another VGP is Batman team, right? Hey, huh? We'll see though. With that, guys, more Cabal Vision Champions Cup action right here. You can check me out on YouTube. Thank you, Nightbot, for pointing out my channel. You can go there as well, subscribe and like my videos. You can follow along here if you like what you see. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you next time.